So finally, we deduce this formula is theta equal to r by l into 360 degrees. Here, if you observe, this theta is in the angle in the sector and uh, this radius is the cone based radius. Here, this radius is cone based radius and uh, this l is the lateral surface uh, length. Okay. So, based on this formula, last year there, uh, there was a question asked, you know, the question number is 18. If you take the set A, the question number is 18. So, the question is, if the development of the lateral surface of a cone is semicircle, then, so there are four options given. So, here the development of lateral surface of a cone. So, here we have already seen how to create a cone from the sector. And now, what I do is, so, instead of creating a cone, what I do is, I will take a cone like this and uh, I will cut the cone along this line or anywhere, anywhere on the lateral surface, I will cut the cone and I will open it. So that is what called as the development of the surfaces. So, in the first session, we are going to no, um, talk about the engineering curves and in the second section, we are going to talk about the projections and in the third section we ha I have already mentioned that we are going to deal development of the surfaces. So here what is the development of the surfaces? Here I will cut this lateral surface and open this one. So what we get? Guess triangle, rectangle, parabola. No, we will get the sector itself. Initially we started with a sector, we folded the sector and we got the cone. Now what I do is I will cut the cone and finally we end up with the sector, original sector. Okay. So whenever there is a question like this, whenever there is a question like uh, what is the developmental surface of a cone and uh, here the cone is right circular cone. So whenever the development sur surface of a right circular cone then it's a nothing but a sector but not a, but not a right angle triangle why because you may get confusion like uh, in the previous session at the starting i mentioned like uh, we can develop the cone by revolving the right angle uh, right angle triangle also here by revolving right angle triangle we are generating a solid body there from the plane we are generating a solid body but whereas if you cut open this uh, cone we are uh, getting a sector okay you need to identify this difference okay because the same question asked in uh, th this option is given as one of the options in some other question so we need to remember this one and here the problem is so the developmental area so what is the development area i will cut open this one and uh, we will form a sector like this so and when you cut open this one, you form a sector this and he has given the property of this sector. And this, pro this sector happened to be a semicircle. It became like this. Initially, this is a sector and this is a semicircle. It became like this. So, this, so finally, it became like this. So, I cut open this so cone and it became a semicircle. What is the angle here? This is a 180 degrees. So, here... When I cut open this one, it became a semicircle like this. Semicircle like this, and here the angle is 180 degrees. What is this angle? This is nothing but theta only, if you recollect from the previous derivation. So, here theta is given, and if I substitute this theta value in this equation, what happens here? If I put 180 degrees here, so it will get cancelled two times, then finally you will get L equal to 2 into R. Here what is the L? L is nothing but a lateral surface length or lateral, la lateral edge length here. What is the R here? That is the base circle radius of the cone. And what is the 2R? 2R is nothing but a diameter here. So, this is the diameter. So, finally we got L equal to D and now let us read the options now. So, in the options, 
what are the options the first one is the slant height of the cone what is the slant height of the cone nothing but a length l is less than diameter of the base of the cone so this is the diameter of the cone so the first option is l less than d so that is wrong the second option the slant height of the cone greater than diameter of the base of the cone that is also wrong the third option is slant height of the cone l equal to diameter of the cone so here l equal to d so what is our option option a is 3 here option 3 is correct here so this is the you know this this was also in last year so it's very easy and uh, there is one more question based on the same concept here so the question number is 10 if you see the set a of last year 2016 so what is asked in that one <clears throat> so again here it's a uh, based on the developmental surface so the question is if a thread is wound around a cone starting from a point on the base and brought back to the same point then the shortest possible length of the thread is equal to so what they have done is so there is a cone like this so so there was a thread started here and they somehow wound around this cone we don't know how they wound so this is uh, making a complete revolution or uh, this is a uh, completely making it it may go like this around like this and it's uh, finally should reach the same initial point or if you trying to uh, move this you know thread along this lateral surface then finally it should go come like this or if you are uh, for example the base is like this circular base of this cone so if you are uh, starting from here and uh, taking this thread around this circle and uh, finally reaching the same point so what happens the conditions are here the thread is starting from a point on the base that is the first condition here and what is the second condition the, whatever the starting point and the ending point should coincident that means we are starting from here so wherever you go around this cone finally you should reach this same point so for example if i am going like this finally i should reach this point or if i am going like this i don't know how you wound around this cone but finally you should reach this same point okay that is the second condition here so the option here the question is what is the shortest distance traveled by this thread around the cone in this uh, given conditions so here again if you want to uh, realize the real you know understanding of this one then we need to form the developmental surface so what is the developmental surface again i will cut open this along the lateral surface so when i cut open the lateral surface what will it become so it will become a sector okay i don't think that it will become a semicircle in the previous case it became semicircle why because the question was a the condition in the question was a stated like that that's why it became a semicircle but here it will become a sector so i will cut open this one so what happens it will become a sector now so this is the sector see you always you know remember this is a sector sector in the 2d that is in the plane okay even though it's looking like a cone this is not a cone cone in the 3d this is in the 2d okay this became a sector and uh, this is the base whatever we are getting circle here this is nothing but uh, this one okay so i what i do is i have taken a point so i started my thread from here so what happens so shortest distance i want to find out so, so here in this case what would be the shortest distance so if i go along like this to reach the same point i need to travel all this distance and uh, come over here so this is not a shortest distance and uh, what i do is i will start from here and uh, i will go along this one so 
this is the length you are not agreeing why because here even though this point and this point is looking different in this plane diagram because this is a sector what happens if I close this one now what I do is this is the sector I have taken a point and I'm saying this point and this point are same but in the sector this even though these two are different when I close and make it as a cone what happens this point is coincident with this point that is nothing but this is a if I start thread here and end the thread here, these two points are same. So this is the shortest distance and this is called as a chord. So this is a chord of the sector here. So this is the shortest distance here. So let's see the options now. So in the options, the first one is diameter of the base of the cone. So what is the value of this one this is a, not a diameter this is nothing but 2 pi r why because in the previous session we have seen this is nothing but s and uh, s is nothing but a circumference of the cone what is the circumference that is a 2 pi r not to 2 r what is second option slant height of the cone slant height is nothing but a length of l so that is a that is also not correct here why because if i travel along this land height I need to cover this and as well as uh, this one to reach this point so that's why in this case if I travel along this one then it will become 2L not the L and uh, see the third, third option largest chord of the development sector what is the development sector here development sector is nothing but if I cut open the cone then whatever sector we produce here that is a nothing but a developmental sector so what is the largest chord here that is nothing but from this point to this point so this is the distance that is what we finally concluded here so okay option 3 is correct here and we will see what is the option 4 also length of the perpendicular from a corner of the developmental sector to the opposite edge for example this is the this is the developmental sector and uh, here what he's saying is you take a point at the corner so I have taken a point here and uh, you draw a perpendicular you go like this okay when I go like this what happens I need to come again to this point that is our uh, initial condition wherever you start your thread finally the final position also should coincident with the starting point okay so what happens this will go and become like this so if you see this length is more than this length but here in the question we need to find out the shortest distance so finally our answer is option 3